Right, so we're back on the um, the Blue Players computer, and uh, these are our units. We don't know what Red's done yet down here, so we're going to find out now. So we'll go first of all and see if we've got an email from them, which we have, and we're going to download. Oh, we haven't. Sorry, that's the wrong one. That's the one we sent. Here it is. We're going to download the Red Turn One vlog. And I will put that in the same folder that it, uh, the rest of the games were in. Vassal games, games, um, online example. So we're going to put it in there. Okay, so then we can now go and we can uh, load it up. Now the easiest way to load it up I've found is to close this down the actual game itself not this the actual um, server if you like for the game and then just it, actually that doesn't matter that much it will start up anyway double click on red's turn and that will load the whole thing in and what this will allow us to do is to review what red's done now we've just done that with the red play looking at what the blue did so I'm not going to spend ages doing this I'm just going to go through it and once we've reviewed it we'll then be able to do the blue player's turn and then the blue player will email his back and that continues so on until each side has had three turns at least in this so as I say we'll do this quite rapidly so this is the blue player it's his turn so down here to see what happened we're going to click on these and every time I click, it shows one of the things that the red player did. And that was the end of the red player's movement. So he's found minerals. That's about all we know. So now we're going to start recording a new log file for the blue player. And I think at this point, I'll, I'll uh, pause here and we'll jump ahead until both players have had three turns. And uh, then it's the economics phase. So now we're on to the economy phase. Uh, I know it always says economy up there, it's a bit confusing, but we're going to move this on. We're on player five, so there isn't a player six. So this will go now when I press the, uh, the plus button onto the let me see, economy phase for player one. Okay, so you have three normal turns when you move and explore, then you have an economy phase. Now to find out what we've got, we're going to hit the production button up here. And up here, down this side here, we have a list of all the things that we get. So we've no income from last turn. We have colony. Now the colony is going to be there. We've got 30 points, so 30 will appear there. Let me make this a bit smaller. We don't actually have any minerals. The only minerals we got are out here. We didn't manage to get them back to the colony in time. Um, MS pipelines, that's something else you can build. Merchant ship pipelines, we've not got any of those set up. So that will be the total will come there. Then we'll have the maintenance. Maintenance is basically one point for each scout ship that we've got. We don't pay for the mining ships, the colony ships, or the uh, this ship here, which is actually the Enterprise. Um, that's your flagship. Um, then we have the turn order bid. So you can bid how many points you want to spend to get the first turn, next turn. Then we'll have uh, technology spending, how much we spent on technology, I'll come to that later. Ship spending, I'll come to that later. And then down here, we're going to have um, uh, any spent on upgrades okay which again we won't have this turn now to get the actual numbers to go in there rather than putting them in yourself you can hit them this refresh column what this will do now it will look at the board and calculate what these numbers are now i have found playing this myself that occasionally it's um this will either get it wrong or get it a bit mixed up so i'm going to suggest and well i'm going to insist that we actually use a backup to this as well and I'll put a link to this below but there's a spreadsheet that we can do here uh, I'm using uh, LibreOffice which basically copies these down and we're going to save these in the same way so I'm just going to copy these numbers across 
So I've got them for my colony, I've got 30, which means that uh, these are going to be zero, uh, which means that my uh, maintenance there is going to be 30, uh, not maintenance, sorry, I'm getting mixed up here, because uh, it's in slightly different order. No minerals, no MS pipeline, maintenance. Maintenance is three because we've got three scout ships. Uh, turn order bid, I'm going to put one in. Um, so my subtotal here is, uh, hasn't been there, is 26. Uh, I've not spent anything on ships or tech spending. So I'm going to save that now. So this is purely as a backup. So I'm going to save that in uh, the same place I've been saving my games for this particular game. So I'm going to Vassal uh, Games Space Empires Online Example and I'm going to call it um, Blue Production. So what can you do with these 27 um, uh, production points? Um, that's CP actually, um, credit points, yeah, we'll find out what they stand for afterwards. Um, well, we can spend them on technologies or we can spend them on chips. So we'll look at the technologies first down here. Uh, you'll see that at the moment we've got ship size and we start with a one, we start with one movement as well. But to go to ship size two costs us 10 production points. So if we look up here on this chart, we can see that a, a scout ship and a destroyer have a whole size of one. We can build those. Whereas a cruiser has a whole size of two. Most of the things are larger. So at the moment we can't build these. So that's one thing I'm thinking of doing, of actually having a ship size building, using 10 points to build a ship size. Then if we look at the strategic situation, you might have noticed by the way that this, this and this have now flipped over. And it's because I forgot to do them. Uh, on the last turn. Um, doesn't affect the game in any way. Um, so we look at this. What we're going to have a look at, we've got another planet that we've just discovered out here that we could colonise. Now, you don't have to wait to build colony ships until you've found planets. You can build them up in the hole because you will find them eventually. But I'm going to build another colony ship. And then the other thing I'm going to build is uh, some merchant ships. I like merchant ships uh, and the way that they work, you put one in your home planet and then one on each of the colonies you want to be connected to it. So at the moment I've done a few calculations in my head and I think I can afford two of them. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the ship production which is this crane and click on the colony ship and then it says control two, two of those. Two. They only cost three each so we've got a total of 14. So if we go down here again, we'll just refresh this, and whilst you don't have to keep refreshing it like this, you can do all your, your calculations and then refresh it at the end, it's a lot more efficient. Turn order bid. I'm going to put a one in there because you can bid to go first in the next turn. And the main reason I'm doing this is to, is to show you how it works. So I'm going to right click, oh there you are, there's the ships gone in. I'm going to right click that and set the value to one. And then that should go in in a second. Whilst it's doing that down here, I'm going to be actually, yeah, it's gone to one. Down here, I'm going to actually get ship size of two. So I click on that and it put a red, red circle around it. Now to show that I'm actually committed to doing that, so you would put whichever you wanted, you click the commit button up here. And that should move that up into there and it also turn that into black. So that's gone black. Uh, we haven't got technology spending. Why haven't we got technology spending? I will set that to 10. Okay. Now that should have done it automatically. Usually it does. I've obviously done something wrong. But since I've done this twice already, um, we won't worry about that. Another reason for using this spreadsheet. So uh, we have also got here to update this to one. Ship purchasing was 14 and tech spending was 10. So we've got a record in case this goes haywire. We've got a record that we can keep over here. So I'll just save that and minimize it. 
Um, this is handy because it does actually uh, do some things automatically. The next thing that we do before we get rid of all this, uh, and again, this is this is in the uh, the order that you do things, is that you grow colonies. At the moment, I haven't got any colonies because these colonies haven't been founded. So you, it's not going to do anything this turn. I'm going to hit that button. But once these have turned into colonies, which I'm going to do now, I'm going to right click them and colonize. Each time you press that colon grow colonies button there, it will increase these colonies to the next level. So they go from a one to a three to a five. Okay, they don't go any higher than fives. So we've now got our whole production thing finished there. Uh, we've got two points left, which will go on to the next turn when we get to the next turn. Um, so we've done everything now on that. Um, so what we would do is go here, end the log file, and guess what? We then email it to the other player. There we are, that's the log file finished. So we would email that to the other player and they would go ahead and do their um, production phase for the red player. In this case, it would be you.